My name is Nick Basol. I'm the owner of Revolution Rotisserie, and we're at the Over the Rhine location. Our second location is in Pleasant Ridge, uh, so also in Cincinnati, um, and uh, we opened that one about two years ago. Um, it's a little bit larger, and we just added a big patio there. Um, and then this location opened uh, a little over five years ago uh, here in Over the Rhine. You know, we're a rotisserie chicken place, more so than any other type of chicken, so I think that in and of itself is pretty unique, even nationally. Um, to my knowledge, there's actually no other rotisserie chicken-focused uh, restaurant in uh, the city of Cincinnati. We really have strict standards for uh, freshness, um, so we actually, uh, every single lunch and dinner, we intentionally run out of chicken, um, and that's just, uh, you know, because I don't wanna, uh, you know, risk anyone having uh, not an amazing juicy rotisserie chicken. So, um, you know, it creates, creates a little fun too. You know, you gotta get here early or, you know, you might have to get one of our other delicious things. When people walk into Revolution, I really want them to uh, feel at home um, and comfortable. We're a casual spot, you know, but we also do kind of maybe food you might be familiar with, but uh, with our own little twist. Um, and then on the menu, uh, you know, we always re recommend the rotisserie chicken, uh, especially at dinner time. Um, we have some really good uh, sandwiches as well. The lightning fried chicken sandwich is incredible. Um, and that's probably our number one selling sandwich. And then the um, Nelson Mandela cheetah, which is, uh, that's basically kind of what we started doing at Finley Market, is a uh, pulled rotisserie chicken on a grilled pita with toppings. So uh, it's a little bit different and uh, it's kind of like almost like a big taco, uh, but super popular, again, uh, just a lot of flavor. We make all of our sauces in house and all, every topping that goes on, you know, our food is so fresh. I basically wanted to just start a restaurant and I've always been entrepreneurial and it actually started out as I wanted to do just a general like, uh, you know, rotisserie meat concept and it was going to, rotisserie chicken was just going to be one of those. But I was going to have like, you know, stacked uh, shawarma and, and gyro meat and al pastor, which is pork, Mexican pork. And I was doing all those things and to be honest with you, I did tastings with everybody and uh, I couldn't really quite get the other ones down. They were a little more uh, uh, finicky and like the uh, rotisserie chicken kind of was just like this, the simplicity of it was just instantly understood by everybody. The chicken kind of went well with a lot of different things. It was very versatile. Um, so, and I needed to simplify it anyways to do it in a tent at Finley Market. Um, and that was kind of the first thing. So I'm like, all right, I'll just start with the rotisserie chicken. Well, uh, you know, I start with the rotisserie chicken at Finley Market and uh, well, to this day, I never really quite got around to the other stuff because, um, you know, it's just been such a big hit. Well, so I actually chose to uh, open up shop in Over the Rhine because I lived a half a block from here. Um, and I wanted to start a restaurant, uh, you know, six years ago uh, before I started the tent. Over the Rhine was really, uh, you know, not what it is today in terms of how many restaurants there are, but there, I saw this a tremendous potential, potential happening, uh, mostly clustered around Vine Street, a little bit on Main. And, um, uh, you know, I was 25, I was living in OTR, I loved the scene, um, and I just felt like I could, uh, if I was gonna start a restaurant anywhere, it would be here, and I, I, you know, the local artisan vibe, I felt like I was uh, gonna fit in, but also be challenged myself to be better. Um, so I'd go to Finley Market, and I saw the other tents, you know, Saturday and Sundays, and I'm like, you know what, there's only two or three of them, like, I feel like I could do this, and, pilot the concept and figure it out um, and uh, that's what I did I just you know kept it simple we had really four sandwiches and rotisserie chicken and sold out of Finley Market Finley Market people are incredible uh, they kind of I kind of refer to them as like my Finley Market family uh, I used uh, at the time all kinds of Finley Market vendors to actually purchase almost everything that went onto that um, into my tent so um, it was really a special experience um, and uh, I think that starting there really helped uh, create that momentum for starting here, uh, especially before there was really anything on Race Street. And I think over the years, you know, six, almost six years later, you know, a lot of things have kind of wrapped their arms around us over here as well. And uh, I think that's a good thing. You know, it's over the Rhine is uh, the more the merrier, it kind of creates this fun entertainment uh, district vibe and uh, you know I think we're still relevant 
uh, even six years later because our food is just uh, simple, delicious, and uh, I think we're, we're doing something that's very unique uh, relative to everyone else in the neighborhood.